Okay, so we're reset here to the uh, toilet here in the master bathroom. We moved it from the floor. Uh, the bathtub and shower, we had some issues here while we were running up. They did not drain. They're backing up. As you run the bathtub, it backs up into the shower pan here. So uh, that is a, a drain problem that's isolated to that small branch. It's not a main line issue. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. We get in, we're running kind of over to the side here. This is the, the toilet vent. Pipe going up there. Drop down into the actual drain part here. You can see the a little bit of water running out. The shower is draining out very slowly. And right here, essentially, is where we come out. The right side of the structure outside this bathroom. And this Y fitting. Very likely they would have a... Uh, Either it's capped off or it could be uh, elbowed up and brought to the surface there. So we'll mark that area out. All right, so this line is a, uh, a modern ABS plastic piping, which is not the same as the Orangeburg materials that we saw. Now, these modern plastic pipe materials, they are expected to have a very long service life. They have a very smooth inner surface, which allows for very high washout capability. And they are intended to be impervious to root intrusions. Now, when, oftentimes when a, a structure has an addition like this and a new line is run, because they have to tie into uh, existing pipes that are already at a certain depth or elevation, sometimes these things won't be sloped properly. So far, I've seen a couple areas where it looks like it's run fairly flat, but nothing of a belly. It's holding water, so that's good. So far, it's generally draining acceptably. All right, so here we should be up somewhere near the front right corner of the building. We're going to be making it looks like a 45 degree turn. And now we're going to run across the front yard. We're running towards that, uh, that primary line where we saw the tie-in. Now here we do have a slight belly. It looks like there's about a quarter inch of water or so, maybe a half inch, getting a little bit deeper. You can see the debris build up in areas like that. That small amount of a belly, not going to make too much of a concern about because of the plastic ability to wash out debris very well. And one small little belly like that probably won't cause any problems. cleanups at the upper end or where the exit of the structure is supposed to have cleanups every 100 feet. So I think I'm going to go ahead and locate out that 100 foot mark as well. Provide better access for the system. Alright, so here's where we're tying in. And you can see it's a little bit low in that area. That whole fitting or that whole tie in is holding water. That won't really matter too much when that it can be repaired when that Orangeburg piping is replaced. Let's see if we can get around this turn, which at this distance we may not be able to. Thank <laughs> you. 
water. I can't really tell which way the camera's turning. Right, I'm going to stop the video here and see if we can figure out something. I need to run water. 